Hi, Mr. Corsi here. In this question, we've got a large triangle PQR, and inside it there's a line being drawn from T to S, which is parallel to QR. Small internal line there is 5 centimetres long. This side of the triangle is 7 centimetres long. We're also told SR is 2.6 centimetres, and we're asked to find the value of X. That's the length PS. Now, there are two triangles in this diagram. There they are. And they are mathematically similar. Why is that? The angle P occurs in both of the triangles. So this angle is equal to this one. The angle Q and the angle T are both equal because these are parallel lines. We get an F shape. They're corresponding angles. So this angle up here and this angle here are equal. And that means, therefore, that the third pair of angles are also equal. And in this diagram, you can see that they are corresponding angles also. There's an F shape. There's legs pointing up in the air. Uh, so these are equiangular, and hence they are similar. So the one at the top is an enlargement of the smaller one below. So we're looking at the enlargement factor. Is this twice the size of this or three times the size of that? The clue's in the length 7 and 5. This large side, 7 centimetres, corresponds to the smaller side, 5 centimetres. So when the enlargement takes place, the side TS enlarges and fits upon the side QR. Now, that enlargement factor would be comparing 7, a larger number, with 5. 7 divided by 5. That's 1.4. So if we multiply 5 by 7 over 5, we get 7. Multiply 5 by 1.4, you get 7. In fact, every length in a smaller triangle, if we multiply it by 1.4, will give you the length of the corresponding line in the larger triangle. So in particular, PS, which if we look at this diagram is length X. So if we enlarge PS, it then fits upon PR after we've multiplied it by 1.4 to get a length of X plus 2.6. So there's a length x plus 2.6 centimetres. So x multiplied by 1.4, we enlarge it, gives us x plus 2.6. Let's write that down. Start off with side length x, multiply that by 1.4, that gives us x plus 2.6. So we're in familiar territory, we've got a equation to solve. First thing we'll do, we'll take away 1x from both sides. Still keep it balanced. If we take 1 away from 1 1.4, we get 0 0.4. So we're left with 0.4x on the left. The x has disappeared here. We're left with 2.6 on the right. What do we do now? Well, we divide both sides by 0 0.4. The left-hand side gets divided by 0 0.4 the right-hand side gets divided by 0 0.4. That allows us to get x on its own. So x equals... Well, to do this, we're in paper 1, no calculator. Let's multiply top and bottom of this fraction by 10. We get 26 over 4. And 4 into 26 goes 6 with 2 quarters left over. So that's six and one half, 6.5. And that's the value of x. Well, that's Mr. Corsi signing out, and I hope you enjoyed the video.